Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a super quick Lightroom tip for you. So if you are using Lightroom and you find that you're making the same corrections to every single image and you want to have Lightroom apply those settings by default, there's a couple of ways you can go about doing it. So the first thing you could do is you could make a preset and then have Lightroom apply that preset every time you import your image. However, there are a couple of disadvantages to that. For one, if you hit the reset button, it will always revert back to the defaults. However, there is a way in Lightroom to actually change the default settings for each individual camera. And it's actually really simple and straightforward to do. So what I'm going to do now is show you exactly what you need to do. So first of all, um, you need to go to the develop module and bear in mind that this will change the settings for a particular model of camera. So for example, in this instance, I'm using images from a Nikon D800. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the default settings for this. And those settings will apply then to any image I import from a Nikon D800. If I import images from a different camera, those settings will be still at the factory defaults. So to give you an example, I have just picked an image here and I'm in the develop module. So a couple of the things that you might like to do uh, to change the default settings from normal is for start, you might want to change the color profile so that you use one of the camera matching profiles. Uh, so for here, instead of Adobe color, I want to use camera standard. So that will be basically matching the the standard picture profile because that's what I shoot with everything um, on when I'm shooting with the D800. And the second thing I want to do is I want to turn on lens corrections and set them to automatic. So I'm going to scroll down to lens corrections and go over to profile and then go enable profile corrections. So you see straight away that's made a big difference. And setup, I want to set that to auto. So what that will do is it will look at the metadata of the raw file and then find out what the lens has been used and automatically apply the correct lens profile for it. So that is basically how I want all my Nikon D800 images to be imported with all those settings already set. Now you can do other things too, like for example, if you want to have different sharpening settings, you can change the sharpening settings to whatever you like. So the defaults are probably fine in this case, um, but I'm just gonna, for the purposes of this exercise, I'm just gonna take them up a little bit. Now, I, I probably wouldn't do this, but I will show you how to reset them as well. Oh, and the other thing, um, back in the lens corrections, I'm just gonna turn on remove chromatic aberration. So that will basically scan the image for any aberrations and fix them as well. So these are the settings that I want to use as my defaults. Now, for the purposes of this process, you make you must make sure that you don't change anything else because whatever you have changed away from, uh, from an unedited image is gonna get saved as the defaults. Okay, so what you need to do now is go up to the develop menu and go set default settings. So as you can see is this dialog box comes up and asking you to confirm that what you want to do. So change the default settings used by Lightroom and Camera Raw for negative for native negative files with the following properties. I don't know why they call it negative files, but anyway, um, Nikon D800. Okay, it says note that these changes are not undoable. That's not technically correct. <laughs> you can actually reset them to their factory settings and you do that by using this button here, restore, uh, restore Adobe default settings. But in this case, I'm going to go update to current settings. So now everything I have set here will be my new defaults. So for example, if I go change a few things and so let me see, just set that to a different profile. Turn that off, turn that off. And now when I hit reset, it will go back to the settings I've just saved as defaults. And this will also apply when I import new images. And uh, anytime I import a new image um, from that is taken with this camera, it will have the settings that I just set. So like I said, the big advantages of doing it this way over using a preset and then applying that preset and import is that when you hit the reset button, it will actually reset to your new default settings that you've just set. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That is, like I said, it's a super quick tip. Uh, I hope that hasn't been too confusing. <laughs> um, and uh, if you found this useful, please give this video a thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.